Hello students, my name is Anish Salat. I am working as assistant professor in University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. Today we are going to learn the module Food and Beverage Service Equipments from the paper Food and Beverage Service. After completing this module, you will be able to Understand the various types of equipments used in service industry. Identify uses of different food and beverage equipment. Know sizes and capacity of glasswares. And understand how to take care of the service equipments. Let us begin. The food and beverage service industry is the one which offers delectable food along with a wonderful experience to the customers. The decor of the restaurant, ambience and music that is played in the restaurant plays a very important role in customer satisfaction. Equipments are purchased in the hotel way before the staff is hired. The equipment of a restaurant will be purchased either by food and beverage manager or by the owner of the restaurant. Care is taken during the planning stage. The restaurant is planned in such a way that the equipments purchased for the restaurant occupies a minimum space and can be placed without disturbing the day-to-day -day operations of the restaurant. Type of service, design, color, ability to store, Usage, shape are some of the points that need to be considered before purchasing the restaurant equipment. Equipments basically mean furniture, crockery, glassware, which are to be used by the service staff and the customers during service delivery process. The service equipments are classified in three broader categories glasses, crockery and tableware. Let us see what these are. Firstly, crockery. Basically different kinds of plates and saucers that are used in a restaurant fall under this category. The restaurants generally use crockery made from bone china as it is heat resistant and can be of different shape and size. Silica, soda ash and china clay goes in the preparation of bone china crockery. There are many different types of materials used in making of crockery. Some of these are as follows. Proselene. Crockery made with the combination of kelonite clay, quartz and feldspar often mixed with water and heated at high temperatures to form a plastic body that can be molded into different shape. Stoneware is strong and more chip resistant because it is fired at higher temperatures, is heavy in weight and is available in bright colors. Earthenware, they are not strong and are porous. They chip off very soon and are not an ideal choice of the restaurant owner. But since it comes at a very low cost, small restaurants may often choose to use this kind of crockery. Bone China One of the finest class of crockery. It generally comes in metallic designs of gold ribbon running along the diameter of the dinnerware. High heat resistance and long-term durability makes price of this kind of crockery very high. Due to the unique design, the crockery of both China is suitable for all kinds of occasions. Now let us understand about the different types of cutlery that are used in service industry. Quarter plate, also known as side plate, cheese plate, bread and butter plate. 
The size of this plate is 6 inches 15 centimeter in dia. This plate is situated on the left hand side of the cover and different breads and cheese go on this plate. Half plate also known as sweet plate, dessert plate, fish plate. The size of this plate is 8 inches 20 centimeter in dia is bigger than quarter plate and is used to serve starters, salads, fish preparations and sweet dishes. Full plate also known as large plate, dinner plate, joint plate. The size of this plate is 10 inches 25 centimeter in dia is bigger than dessert plate and is used to serve the main course. Soup bowl. The capacity of soup bowl is 250 ml. It is used to serve thick soups and in few restaurants they are used to serve cereals. Soup cup or consomme cup. The capacity of consomme cup is 250 ml. It can be identified by two handles on both sides of the cup. All thin soups can be served in this cup. Soup plate with depression. The size of soup plate is 8 inches 20 centimeter diameter. All kinds of thick soups can be served in this plate. Breakfast cup. The capacity of this cup is 240 to 300 ml, 8 to 10 oz. It is bigger in size and breakfast tea is served in this cup. Tea cup and saucer. The capacity of tea cup is 200 ml. Except breakfast tea, if the guest orders for tea during the day hours, it will be served in this cup. Demitase cup or coffee cup with saucer. The capacity of this cup is 97 to 100 ml. Coffee is served in this cup to the guests. Cereal bowl or nappy bowl. The capacity of this bowl is 350 ml and it is used to serve breakfast cereals. Other than above, there is also the China ware in which food is not served but are equally important in restaurant business. They are cruet set, the salt cellar and pepper sprinkler together are known as cruet set, ashtray, coffee creamer, sugar basin, milk jug, egg cup and bird vases are some of the items. Let's understand how to handle china ware. The durability of china ware will depend on how well it is taken care of. Proper care and maintenance is required for bone china to prevent it from the wear and tear. It is important that correct method of washing and drying is used to prevent cracks and chipping of bone china crockery. China ware is very delicate. If not handled properly, they will break. While storing, care should be taken that no more than 12 plates are stacked one above the other. In no case, chipped or broken crockery shall be used as it is a place to harbor germs. Now I will talk about the different types of glassways used in service industry. The elegance of any restaurant will be defined by the kind of quality of the glasses they use. Glasses have a very unique character of adding an eye appeal to different kinds of drinks that are served in the restaurant. The market is full of different kinds of glasses which have distinctive shapes and sizes. Since the glassware is expensive, therefore the restaurant owner should choose glasses which have multiple use and are suitable for all kinds of drinks. The glasses have the following three parts bowl, stem and base or foot and according to their parts they are classified into three different categories. First stemmed glass. This kind of glass will have all the parts 
they are very attractive to look because of the stem that connects the base or foot to the bowl. They are very fragile and if handled by an untrained professional will break easily. The capacity of the glasses is measured in fluid ounce, the symbol for which is OZ. Some of the stem glasses that are used in service industry are red wine glass, the capacity of this glass is 7 to 8 ounce. They are identified by the wider rounder bowl which is tapering inwards. White wine glass, the capacity of this glass is 6 ohms. White wine glasses are identified by their long stem and are narrower. Since the white wine is uh, chilled, therefore the long stem will prevent the heat from the hand to transfer to wine. Champagne tulip. The capacity of this glass is 6 ohms. It is used to serve champagne. To prevent the bubbles from escaping easily, the mouth of this glass is narrow in shape. Champagne flute. The capacity of this glass is 6 ohms. It is used to serve sparkling wines. Champagne saucer. The capacity of this glass is also 6 ohms and it is used for cocktails made from champagne. Cocktail glass. The capacity of this glass is 5 ohms. It is a triangular shaped glass with a long stem and is used for service of wide range cocktails. The next type of glass is flat bottom glass. These kinds of glasses do not have stems and their base or foot directly rests on the table. Some of the flat bottom glasses are old fashioned glass. The capacity of this glass is 9 ohms. This kind of glass is used for old fashioned cocktails and whiskies to be served on the rocks. Highball glass. The capacity of this glass is 8.5 ohms. It is suitable for all kinds of drinks that may be served in a restaurant. In general, layered cocktails suits well with this kind of glass. Tom Collins. The capacity of this glass is 12 ohms. It is suitable for long drinks, iced tea and for shakes. Roly poly. The capacity of this glass is 9 ohms. Suitable for cocktails which are served with crushed ice. Pilsners. The capacity of this glass is 12 to 14 ohms. It is suitable to serve light beers. Short glass. This glass has a capacity of 1 to 2 ohms. It is suitable for straight drinks like vodkas whiskies and tequila. Juice glass. The capacity of this glass is 5 ohms. Suitable for all kinds of fresh and canned juices and it also serves as a repeat glass in bars for spirits. The next category of glasses that we will discuss are footed glass. The glasses in which the stem is very short and is close to the base are called footed glassware. Brandy balloon. The capacity of this glass is 12 ohms. It is suitable for serving brandy. Has a very short stem. Thus, when the hand of the customers touches the base of the glass, the aroma is released due to the transfer of heat from hand to the glass. Beer goblet. The capacity of this glass is 12 to 14 ohms. It is used to serve chilled beer. It is made up of thick glass and has a handle on the side to hold the beer so that the beer remains cool. Water goblet. 
The capacity of this glass is 8 to 10 ohms. It is larger than the wine glass and is used to serve water. It is placed on the right hand side of the restaurant cover. Port glass. The capacity of this glass is 1.7 ohms. It is used for the service of port wine and sherry. Care should be taken while using the glassware. They should be cleaned with warm water and light wiping should be done. No smudges, fingerprints or watermarks should stay on the glasses before they go for service. The next category of equipments that we will study are tableware, also known by another name silverware. The tableware equipments are those items by the help of which the food is either consumed by the guest or it is a help to the waiter to do the service of the food to the guest. They are generally made up of food grade stainless steel material and are classified as first cutlery. The technical meaning of cutlery in food and beverage service is all kinds of cutting knives used in the restaurant like fish knife, side knife and butter knife. Any cutlery used for cutting of food either by the guest or by the server will come under this category. Few of the cutlery equipments used in the service industry are joint knife. The size is 9 inches. It is bigger as compared to all purpose knife and is used for cutting the joint pieces of meats. Grill knife. The size of this knife is 9 inches and as the name suggests they are used to carve out meat portions which are served directly from the grill. Fruit knife. The size of this knife is 7 inches. It is smaller in size and are used by the guests to cut the fresh fruits. Steak knife. 10 inches in size. It generally has a serrated edge and is used for meat steaks. Dessert knife. The size is 8 inches. They are smaller in size as compared to the dinner knife and are used along with dessert fork. Fish knife. The size of fish knife is 9 inches. It is used for fish course along with fish fork. The basic difference between fish fork is that it has a cut at the tip of the knife. Dinner knife. The size of this knife is 7 inches and is also known as all-purpose knife. It is used for the main course. The second kind of tableware are flatware. It refers to all kinds of spoons and forks that are used in service industry. Dinner spoon. The size is 7 inches and it is also known as all-purpose spoon. It is used for main course. Soup spoon. The size of soup spoon is 7 inches. It is used to consume all kinds of thick, thin and creamy soups. Teaspoon. The size is 6 inches and is served with juices, fruit cocktails, cakes and ice creams. Service spoon. The size of this spoon is 8 inches. The service spoon is used along with service fork by the waiters to serve the food from platter to plate of the guest. The service spoon and service fork together are known as service gear. Desert spoon. The size of this spoon is 5 inches and it is served along with cereals and desserts. Coffee spoon. The size is 4 inches and is served along with the coffee cup. Dinner fork. The size of this fork is 7 inches. 
they are used for the entree courses in the restaurant. Joint fork, the size of this fork is 9 inches and due to the larger prongs, joint fork is used along with joint knife to carve meat joints. Grill fork, the size of this fork is 9 inches and are used along with grilled knife to carve foods directly from the hot grill. Fish fork, the size of this fork is 8 inches. They have a cut near the blade of the fork and are used to eat fish preparations. Dessert fork, the size is 6 inches and this fork is used along with dessert knife for dessert courses. Service fork, the size of this fork is 8 inches and it is used along with the service spoon to serve the food to the guests. Now, let us study the third category of flatware which is known as hollowware. Any other utensils other than that of cutlery and flatware comes under this category. For example, sugar bowls, chefing dishes, entree dishes, coffee and teapots, rice platters, butter dish, bread baskets, water jugs, sauce boards, etc. All are the part of hollowware. Hollowware helps the server to serve the different kinds of food on the guest plates. In the service industry, many kinds of equipments which are not covered under flatware or cutlery fall under the category of special purpose equipments. Some of these equipments are asparagus holder. It is used to hold asparagus spear while eating. Bread basket is used for the service of bread rolls and different Indian breads like roti, naan, etc. Butter dish has two compartments on the top the cubes of butter are kept and under it the ice cubes are kept so that the butter does not melt. Butter knife served along with butter dish to cut and apply butter on breads. Cheese knife is used for cutting and picking of cheese during cheese course. Corn on the cob holder for holding the corn from the sides so that the hands of the guests do not get dirty. Caviar knife a small shaped knife which is used to consume caviar. The eggs of sturgeon fish. Finger bowl is served to the guest at the end of the meal. Warm water and lemon wedge helps the guest to clean their hands on the table. Grape scissors is served along with bunch of grapes to cut them into smaller segments. Lobster cracker is used to crack lobster cross and lobster pick is used to pick lobster flesh. Sauce board, the sauce ladle it is a boat shaped equipment in which the sauce or chutneys are served. Snail dish is used to hold snail. It is round dish with two handles. Snail fork, a two pronged fork used to pick flesh from snail shells. Sunday spoon used with ice creams, shakes when served in tall glass. Till now the basic service equipments have been discussed. Now let us study about these equipments which give an eye appeal to the restaurant and provides comfort to the guests while dining. The first category of such equipment is furniture. There is a wide range of furniture available in the market for the customers to choose from. The owner of the restaurant before purchasing the furniture for his restaurant must be very sure about what kind of business unit they are. It is necessary to understand what kind of operations would be run by the outlet as this will determine the quality and quantity of furniture to be purchased by the organizations. Different kind of materials like wood, steel, granite, etc. are being used by the manufacturers to make furniture for hotel industry. It will be the choice of the restaurant owners what kind of materials suits best for his organization. Wooden furniture due to its elegance 
is generally preferred by the hotels. Mainly table, chairs and sideboards are ones which are components of restaurant furniture. Tables. Three different shapes of tables can be found in any restaurant. Mainly round, rectangular and square. The top table can be covered with base cloth to increase the durability of the table and to protect it from spills. The standard height of dinner table is 30 inches from the ground and ideal size for placing four cover on a square table is 36 into 36 inches, 36 inches in dia for round and 30 into 48 inches for a rectangular table. Chairs A wide variety of chairs with unique designs are also available in the market. But one should not forget that the standard height of the chair is 39 inches from the ground to the top and the chair seat height is 18 inches from the ground. Sideboards The side station is also called the dummy waiter or service console. This is a very important piece of furniture in a restaurant. It is used by the service staff for keeping all the service equipments at one place. It is also used as a landing table for the dishes picked up from the kitchen en route to the guest table. For the convenience of the service staff, the side station should be strategically located in a restaurant. The side station should be kept clean and presentable as it can be seen by the guests. The second category of equipment which gives eye appeal to the restaurant is linen. To enhance the ambience and decor of the restaurant, the table linen like tablecloths, table runners, slip cloth, napkins, table mats, etc. are used. The varied colors of linen used by the restaurant add contrast to the entire table setup. Wide range of cloth materials like silk, satin, polyester, etc. can be used for the table linen. Maximum hotels prefer to use linen made up of, a, of cotton material. Table linen will generally comprise of the following. Table napkins. In the absence of table napkins, well set cover in a restaurant looks incomplete. Table napkins are neatly folded into different shapes like cone, candle, pocket, rose, fan, bishop cap, which give an eye appeal to the entire cover and are kept at the center of the cover. Before placing the dinner plates, these napkins are removed by the server and kept on the guest's lap to prevent the clothes from getting dirty due to food spill. These napkins are made of different materials like cotton, linen and high quality paper and are used by the guests for cleaning of hands and face while eating. The standard size of a table napkin for lunch is 18 into 18 and for dinner is 20 into 20 inches. Base cloth. This cloth is fixed tightly to the table and is made up of thick material. The purpose of this cloth is to prevent table from getting spoiled due to spills of the food and to prevent the noise levels of the cutlery and crockery which the server will keep on the table during service. Tablecloths. The tablecloth gives an elegant look to the entire table and they let you know the quality of service that the restaurant is offering. It is spread on the base cloth and for 36 inch table, 54 into 54 inch tablecloth is of standard size. Table runners. A long satin cloth which runs lengthwise on the tablecloth and adds warmth to the design of the tablecloth. The runners give a formal and elegant look to the dinner table during the service. They are also used to cover slightly soiled tablecloth. Waiter's cloth. This cloth is used by servers during the service. It is used to wipe the edges of dishes and prevent servers' fingerprints on the cutlery and crockery being served to the guests. The waiter cloth is to be neatly folded and kept on the wrists. It should never be used to wipe face or hands and if dirty should be immediately replaced. 
At the end, I would like to summarize by telling you that the equipments used in service industry play a very important role in attracting customers. The type of cutlery and crockery being used in the restaurant defines the status of the restaurant. The equipments used in the service industry have standard sizes and dimensions which are available in the market for the restaurant owner to choose from. The furniture not only provides a distinguished look to the service outlet but also gives a comfortable place for the guest to dine in. The color combination of the linen gives a visual appeal to the whole area. The food and beverage outlet owners nowadays are using a mix of traditional and contemporary equipments in their restaurants to make them look different. Therefore, we can say that all the equipments used in service industry might be separate from each other, but when combined together gives the guest a completely different and a satisfying dining experience. Thank you.